Hey everybody, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Pokemon Sapphire. I wanted to say Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories there, but I didn't, so we're okay. So in the last episode, we kind of just, you know, messed around and went places that were interesting. And now we're going to continue with that, oh my god, my headphones, be comfortable, please, I'm begging you. Anyway, um, we just want to do stuff now, so we went to uh, the Trick House and finished that whole shebang off. We fought in May. We pretty much did milk this town for all it's really good for at this point. And now what we want to do is go to the Team Hideout now in search of Archie and his uh, stolen submarine. And that asshole. Okay. Uh, so the way to the Team Hideout is actually over here. Right over here. And I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but uh, the way to continue along these routes that I'm going to... Sh no, you want to press A, bro. So let's look at the Hoenn map, shall we? And to continue along these routes, where it's just where you know you meet all the rest of the cities and stuff, uh, you would have to go through this little path you see here. But as you can see, we've got an Aquagoon and his minions blocking it. There, Wilma, leap out of the water now. Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training. So can you like get lost? Well, can you like go fuck yourself? Alright, so we got Whalmer apparently being trained here, so you cannot pass, you know. You shall not pass. So the only place to go is up here, which is where the Team Aqua hideout is, and in case you didn't know this... Oh, wow, a PP up. Um, no, you don't want to get rid of one of your Pokemon, dude. You want to empty your bag. Uh, what do we got? Hmm. I should use that heart scale and go teach a Pokemon a move. I really should do that, honestly. You know what? Fuck it. I am going to do it because pff, who cares if I'm trying to be... No, fuck time efficiency. We're going to do what we want to do because that's how LPs should be run. We should do whatever we want when we want it because fuck this system. That's why. No, I'm not going to give it. I'm going to toss it. Yeah. I'm never going to use the Thunderstone people, let's be honest. So let's get this PP up real quick. And I'll just show you right quick. That's where the aqua base is. And in case you didn't know it, that guy tells you over here. Remember that old man? He says something about it. Anyways, let's uh, use Phalanx here. Phalanx. And let's go to Fowlerbore, where the move tutor is. The move tittier. Move tutor. Do -do -do -do. God, I love this music. It's so quaint. Yes, indeed. Little move tutor. Oh, hello. Usually these guys are in suits, aren't they? I am the move tutor. I know all moves that Pokemon learn, every one of them, and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it for a heart scale. I'm collecting those now. Oh, that's it. That's an honest to goodness heart scale. Let me guess. You want me to teach you a move? Which Pokemon needs tutoring? Um, well, look, all my Pokemon can learn moves. Let's see what Chick Buskin can learn. Which move should I teach? Ah. Uh... Oh, okay, so I see this guy teaches you attacks that you already knew. Alright, that's what I thought. See, no, this isn't what I want. Contest. Appeal. Yeah, I guess we'll go. Okay, I thought, for some reason, I thought this guy was just like a regular move tutor that taught you certain moves. Okay, my bad. Big mistake. There is a guy that does that later in the game, though, but, eh, no worries. Alright, let's fly back to Lily Cove here. Boom. Boom the Cove of Lilies. I didn't see any flowers here. Unless this, these are flowers right here. And in that case, we're just stepping all over them. I mean, I see a lot of trees. Oh wait, I guess there were some flowers. Oh man, got me thinking about plants versus zombies now. Alright, so let's just go to the base hideout, see what's going on there. Hello. And, uh, it's kind of cool how the little cave has, like, crumbles of rock on it. It's almost like they just built this place. So something interesting to note, if you come here before you go witness Archie stealing the submarine, there will be two guards standing here, and they actually have kind of funny dialogue. They just, like, they kind of bicker back and forth about guarding the base, and they tell you that Archie is in Slateport City. Well, they don't tell you, but they're talking to each other about it. So these guys are going to run around here. I'm pretty sure we can battle them. Anyways, I've got a handy-dandy map here. I mean, I'm not sure how much I can trust my guide after that last fiasco of, a. Uh, items, which I totally brain farted on, by the way, but, um, yeah, we want to see if there's anything, whoa, yeah, I want to see if there's anything we can do here in this room, wait, where is this room? 
Okay, Team Aqua's hideout. No, okay, there's nothing in this room. But yeah, I've got a handy dandy map here because this place can be quite confusing to uh, maneuver, believe it or not. So let's just battle these guys, yeah. Well, hello, mate. Oh, yo, 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 suspicious character spotted. Ay, 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 ay. Is that what he said? <laughs> I didn't really correctly read that. I didn't focus on. Oh, I love the I love the ground in this place. Look at that. It kind of looks like my background on YouTube, man. On the YouTubes, you know. All right, Apuchiana. Well, I can't say I expected any better from an Aqua Grunt. Well, guess what? Apuchiana's died quite sufficiently to double kicks, even though only a singular kick was necessary. And I'm going to be sad when Chick Buskin evolves. He's just so badass. And honestly, the back sprite for a third evolution, I honestly never really liked it. I don't know. Chick Buskin definitely has like one of the best sprites in the game, though. Okay, you guys, I could have killed both of you with one attack last time. You know? Hit one time. T hit one times. Okay, Chick Buskin's going to grow a level any time here. Grr, I lost it. Oh, I lost. Well, what did you expect? I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. <laughs> what was your job there, huh? Just be a fucking decoy, man? Oh, there's only one guy here. I thought there should have been two, because... Oh, well, at least there's no random battles in here. Oh my god, freaking Mega Man Battle Network 5. Killing me, dude. Alright, so as you can see, this place is going to be another teleportation fuck. Much like a Sylphco or, you know, Giovanni, Rocket Hideout, just any of those horrible places. So now I'm going to use my guide, and since it's about 1224 at night, I'm going to have to use my phone to light up the guide so that I can sufficiently see where I'm heading. Alright, so we just came out of door A. And by the way, it's, it's interesting to note, if you're playing this on a... What is it? If you're playing Ruby or Emerald here, and it's Team Magma's hideout instead, it's actually a different layout, which is... Kind of funny, actually. So in this place, also, we have Pokeballs that are disguised as electrodes, so we're dealing with that again. All right, so do we, do we want to go to the left one? Oh, wow, the left one will actually take us to the very end. Oh, no, it doesn't. But that is interesting. Wait, E or L, how can that be? Okay, well, we want to head to this one. Because this one's going to take us to a little area that is by itself. And this is actually an item, not a Pokemon. So this is a Max Elixir. Oh, my God. Why does my bag have such little space? That is the question here. Okay, let's just use some of this stuff. PP up. Let's let's uh, PP up. Um, who else did I teach an awesome move? I did Fire Blast already. Let's PP up Thunder. Sure. Okay, what else do we got? Um, escape rope. I'm not going to need that. Toss it. Useful, but not that useful. Everstone I will never also use, so we're going to toss it. It's nice to have, but still, fuck it. Hardstone, I don't have any rock-type moves, nor will I ever. Goodbye. And, uh, Miracle Seed, I will never have a grass-type Pokemon. So see ya. Macho Brace, I'm never gonna use, but I'll keep it anyway, just in case. Alright, that should be good enough for now. And we get a Max Elixir! Yeah! Alright. So, that's that. That's nothing else in that room. Alright, let's head this one. This is Teleportation Device F. And, oh, oh look, they got some of these generators in here that they used at Mount, uh... Mount Chimney, here you go. Ooh, look, four items in there. That looks interesting. Oh, man, they got a shit ton of these. Jeez. Man, they could have really, like, done this if they wanted to. All right, let's fight this chick. Hello. She's like, wait, you weren't there a second ago. Uh, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. I'll take you on, too. In bed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, nice midriff there. Nice belly button. I see you're an innie. So am I. But that doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you. Chick Buskin. All right, another Puchiana. Well, however, shall I handle this? Oh wait, you're already dead. Well, what a dilemma. Uh, 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 uh. Kicking grunt ass is so easy, cause they use the same Pokemon over and over again. Fucking Carvana's Puchianas. I hate this place. Ooh. But it's okay, because I grew to level 33. Oh, man. How can you make this interesting? You can't. I am just killing these guys with one hit over and over. It's Oko Fest in here. That part of the music I really like, too. That... 
Oh, I already told you guys that that reminds me of the Goldeneye Trevlin music. Didn't I already put that in an episode? I think I did. Alright, is there an item over here? No, just another teleportation device. Okay. Well, let's fight this guy. If it's not an interesting battle, I'll just cut it out. But let's fight him for the expediance. Oh, okay, so we beat this guy. What's your secret? Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. But by now, kiki kiki. K-E-K-E-K-E-K-E. -K -E -K -E -K -E -K -E. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a submarine. Well, no shit. I figured you guys would hide it here. Alright, so let's just use a hyper potion because Chick Buskin almost died there. He's just about to go to level 34 again already, too. Just after he just grew a level in the last battle. He's just blazing through those levels. <laughs> uh, that's a funny pun, actually. You'll get it in about two levels. Um, did I want to take this one? Wait, where am I? Oh, God. I'm so lost, even though I've got a guide. Alright, so that's H. That's going to take us to B. That leads to a whole other clusterfuck of rooms. Okay, where does G go? Alright, G goes there. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Okay, so B goes to H. Where does H go? H goes down there. No, wait, H goes to B. Okay, I'm lost. Okay, there is B. B goes to I or J. Now, where does I go? Okay, I takes you to an item. Where does J take you? J, J, J. I'm sorry that you guys have to sit here and listen to me yabber on about this. I am so sorry. This is so dumb. Alright, J takes you there, which takes you to D, D takes you to C, and C takes you to K, K takes you to the end. Okay, so that's ultimately the way we want to go. So we don't want to go there. Let's go to G first then, which is... Okay, yeah, we want to go to the other end first. Jeez, man, you literally just sat there for about like a minute and talked about that. You really did that. You really just made people watch you talk about letters. This is not an LP. Well, maybe it is. Okay, so. Now we've got this whole munch. You know, I'm not even going to look at these. We're just going to go through them systematically and figure it out the old-fashioned way. Okay? Um, whoa. Alright, so what happens if I go through these other ones? Because that looks like the right way. Oh, it sends you back. Okay, I see. Oh, no. This one actually works. Okay, what if I go through this one? Whoa, man. Okay, that sends you back. So, let's try the middle one. No, the middle one is wrong. You want to go to the right, to the right, uh, to the left. Yes. All right, now which one? Please tell me the middle. No. To the left. Shit. Okay, go back in that one. To the middle. To the right. No. No. Okay. To the right, to the middle, to the left, and now we want to go to the left one. Okay, yes. Alright, now this is the interesting room. This is the boss room, I'm guessing, where he just sits on the couch and looks at this very disturbing table with his little boat here. Can I look at the boat? The boat. Okay, we can't talk to anything there. Here, This isn't a very well-designed hideout. I mean, you can't even talk to anything. Alright, so these items here, I believe three of these are fake, actually. Uh. Hmm, let's see. No, okay, yeah, the first, the front two items are fake. Those are electrodes. You can catch any of these electrodes in here, by the way, if you want to, you know. But this item right here is a nugget. And then the back item is, another. the other back item is also a good item. And it's the best item we're going to get in this place. And that is the Master Ball. Yes, this is where you get the Master Ball in the game. It's that simple. It's just an item sitting in the boss room. That's right. You don't get it in any epic way, like by from the president after defeating Giovanni and saving Silphco. No, nothing epic like that. It's just, you know, you just pick it up. But whatever, we have it now. Not that we'll ever use it. I'll probably use it against like a legendary, in a legendary battle. All right, so now we want, now we want to start heading towards the end, towards the exit, towards the submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. Ah, yellow submarine. Oh great, we got more battles in here. Should I cut it out? I don't know. Well, we're gonna fight. Wahahaha! I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle too. Boss, is this good enough? Dude, it's weird how they're automatically talking after battle now. Usually they don't talk right after the battle unless you, like, talk to them. Alright, so is this where I want to go? Yes, this leads to a dead end, and this will give you the nest ball. Whatever, I don't... Never gonna use it. But, oh, oh wow, you see that little plot of land right there that doesn't have a gate on it? Can I get that? I bet you there's a hidden item on that. I don't think you can ever get to it, though. By the way, if you see in the bottom right corner there, that little fading thing under the water? Yeah, that's the submarine, so we're pretty close. Oh, here we are again, yeah. See, as you can see, there's the submarine right there, and there's a dude standing there guarding it. 
Yeah, you can bet your ass he's gonna want to fight. You bet your bollocks. All right, so now let's head around to this teleport. It's the only other one here, I think. And now we're gonna head up more stairs. Oh, yummy. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that was broken. It's empty. I like how they just can tell you're gonna check it because it's, it's empty. All right, so let's sneak up on this government. Hello! Ooh, fuel supply loaded A-OK. -okay. Increased snacks loaded A-OK. -okay. Nothing left to do but KO a pesky meddler. Oh, I see what you did there. You, you were saying okay, and then you switched it over to KO. Clever. But you're still gonna die, my friend. I'm sorry. Alright, so this guy's got Carvana. I mean, we've never seen a Carvana before. I have no idea how I'm gonna deal with this guy. Seriously, like, why can't... I guess... Maybe they're just trying to emphasize in these games, because you know how it is like a children's game, Pokemon, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> Oh god, did you just make a... never mind. Anyways, so I think what they're trying to do is, like, emphasize that bad guys are overly stupid or, like, you know, not as competent as good guys because they are they have these guys using the same bad Pokemon over and over. Anyway, like I was saying, they're trying to emphasize that the bad guys are just, you know, bad guys suck and they're not competent enough to use the best, you know, good Pokemon over and over. Plus, I think they just want the player, because sometimes, you know, a lot of times young people play this game. They want them to, you know, be easy, make it easy to beat the bad guys, because they don't want to give them the idea that bad guys always win, you know, or bad guys can win, because the good guys are always supposed to win. You know? So. I don't know. Okay, apparently these guys saw us coming, because he told them the mission was to hold us up. Oh, wait, great. There's no way getting around this chick, is there? Oh, wow, actually there is. Man, they made this too easy. Well, let's do it. War panels, the hideout's pride and joy. You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? Fluster and tire out the enemy, then lower the boom. That's our plan. Uh, okay. So yeah, these guys definitely know we're coming, so their their plan is just to hold us up. I don't know what preparations they need to meet, make. Obviously, the submarine's already ready to go. I don't know why they had to bring it here before they went wherever they were. Maybe they're just fueling up. I don't... I don't know, man. Uh, Aerial Ice didn't quite kill this guy last time, and he's level 33. I think this is our only Pokemon, so let's just use Fire Blast. F it. F it, man. Yes. Strangely enough, Zubat is the Pokemon I have most trouble with out of these guys' three Pokemon itinerary. Of course I'm not tired at all, dude. I'm Chick Buskin. Tch. Most badass bird on the planet, dude. Okay, and this is actually the end. Oh, look, yeah, and as soon as you walk over here, that guy notices you, and you get to keep moving. I think that's awesome. Alright, so let's save, just in case. So this is where the submarine was, in case you didn't notice. And uh, that war panel, don't try to go to that first, because it's just going to take you to the exit anyway. So, talk to this bro. Ha ha ha, H-E-H-E-H-E. -H -E -H -E. Got here already, did you? We underestimated you! But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time, I'm going to pulverize you. Oh, so this guy's not just stalling me now, he's planning to kill, he's aiming to win. What are we going to do, team? Do our best! No, we are going to win. So we're facing Aqua Admin Madigan, and just because he doesn't have a shirt, apparently he's better than everybody else, you know? Just because he's got a six-pack makes him better than the rest. No, he's actually not that much better. He's just got, you know, three decently leveled Pokemon instead of one. So, But of course, he's going to have the same ones of Carvana, maybe, maybe, if we're, he's lucky, a Mightyena. Oh yeah, okay, Mightyena, which will go down all the same. This time it'll just take both of our double kicks to kill him instead of just one singular kick. Oh, Intimidate, how great. Boom. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess my Tana's stats are, like, way better than Puchana's, like, more than I thought. But I guess Intimidate had something to do with it, too. Swagger. Ugh. No one on the corner got swagger like us. Um, Chikoskin, I have faith in you. Bust through it, bro. Bust through it. Super Potion, really? Come on, Matt. Come on. Dude. Dude. Dude! This is not good. Chicken, why did you do so much damage to yourself, bro? Why can't you do that much damage to the enemy? Fuck, when you're hurting yourself, you're like doing 100 damage. Oh, great, now we're gonna die. Oh, no. Scary face. Okay. I can deal with scary face. What's that gonna lower? My speed? Pfft. Speed is what we need. Likes you. Greedy. Good, da, da, blah, blah, blah. Yep, you just fucked up the quote, bro. Give it up. You've lost. You lost the game. Alright, let's hype a portion. What are you gonna do? Odor Sleuth. Wow, this guy has a crappy moveset. Does he have anything that can do damage to me? Three of his attacks are just freaking buffers or debuffers. 
Okay, nice. Scary face. I get it. You want me to be slow. I understand. Now... I'm still confused? Oh my god. See, you know how it says you're confused for two to, f two to five turns? I wonder if that counts, you know, because, like, uh, on a turn you use a potion or something. I wonder if that counts as a turn because you're not, like, you can't be affected by it because you're using an item. All right, so now he's going to send our Sharpedo. This might be a problem. Uh, sure, yeah, we'll switch. Well, no, I'm not going to switch. I am not going to switch because Sharpedo's dark top. I can kill him with double kick as long as he doesn't have a water type move. No, I don't think he does. I mean, actually, it's funny because Sharpedo doesn't learn any water moves by leveling, I don't think. He just learns dark moves. I think I read that in like one of my comments or something. But, you know, unless you teach him Surf, of course. These guys do know weird moves. And look at that, the Sharpedo that almost owned us from Archie back at Mount Chimney, we now kill in one single double kick. You know, a single kick, I mean. It's like freaking amazing. Oh, damn, that's a lot of experience. One level away, folks, one level away. You were saying something about Pulverize? Did I miss that? Uh, <laughs> so I lost too. You're right, bitch, you did. Ha 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 ha. While I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. And the submarine made a getaway. Wow, we failed. Ha ha ha. Our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. If you're gonna give chase, you better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? Ha ha ha. Uh, I guess not. So, pretty much coming here was a waste, except for that we got experience and a master ball. Hell yeah. So that warp will take you back to the beginning of this place. I guess an escape rope would have been useful here. Maybe I shouldn't have tossed it. But, you know, it's really not that far. So, yeah. What are we at? 24 minutes. Oh my god. Well, yeah, I guess that's the end of this episode, guys. But by going through Aqua's hideout, you will now... Really? We couldn't just go through one episode without a random battle, could we? Thank you, Wingull. Thank you. Fail goal. Freaking fail goal, man. Jeez. Anyway, now as you will see, the Aqua uh, Grunt training the Whalemer is gone, so now we have access to this big, expansive, whole new part of the map, aka the water routes of Hoenas, or as I like to call it, the Waterfuck. So we're going to be exploring the Waterfuck in the next episode and all these, like, 17 routes. And uh, this blue, this, like, darker blue part right here, what that signifies is that's just a deeper part of the ocean, actually, I think. So, yeah, um, there's like underwater, so we'll get into that later. Anyways, point is, what we're going to be doing is we're pretty much just going to be heading and looking for that ship, but on our way um, to search the sea, we're actually going to stop in Moss Deep City and see what's going on there, and we'll actually have our seventh gym badge there. Okay, now stop spoiling. Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.